here with uh, Jim Dryley from Kane University. And uh, we're, we're excited to, to look forward to hear some of the presentation that uh, you've got prepared for us. And maybe we can just get to your thoughts talking about uh, you know, cybersecurity from an education standpoint, getting enterprise and businesses, all, all different groups involved in it. What are you kind of helping us appreciate a little bit here in your presentation? Well, Scott, what we're looking at uh, to do at Kane University is to uh, create a center. Uh, we have the foundation now uh, approved by our board of trustees at their last meeting. And um, with the center, we're looking at a uh, three parts uh, of the center. One will be academic scholarship. Um, the other is going to be um, legal and policy analysis, working uh, primarily at the state level and then looking uh, nationally from there. And then we're also going to be looking to work with um, partners, external partners, in a consulting base. Uh, and what we want to do is using students and faculty and uh, partners from the, from the industry, from the cyber industry, uh, working with clients. Um, we have a small business development center on, on campus at the university, so we could be working with uh, very, very small client bases. Um, we're also right now in uh, negotiations with a large Fortune 500 company. Uh, which has global uh, aspirations. Uh, we talk about cybersecurity. We're talking about um, not just protecting a system, an infrastructure. We're talking about protecting a way of life. Uh, cyber for us today, globalization based on the internet, uh, is a way of life for all of us, not just the private sector, government sector, all different areas are, are experiencing these different problems. So this is kind of bringing it together nicely there. H how about from just the cybersecurity problems, I mean, what's your gut telling you? What are areas that, that maybe you're concerned with when you look at the big picture, what's going on out there? Well, Scott, um, uh, my other duties in the university is I'm the uh, executive director of the School of Criminal Justice and Public Administration. And from the public administration side, um, our uh, undergraduate and graduate degrees uh, educate students primarily in the health field. And uh, a lot of our students go out and they work in the, at the state and uh, local levels uh, within uh, health administration. And uh, one of the big warning signs, a red flag, if you will, that is coming up is the theft of patient Numbers records. Numbers are, are, are just, you know, they're, they're astounding. Uh, most recently with the uh, Anthem Insurance, uh, 80 million records were, were uh, uh, affected. Sony, only 47,000, only 47,000. But we know the embarrassment that that caused. My, my you youngest know, child, would, our daughter, uh, a few years ago, about three years ago, had her identity um, information taken through a very, very large national uh, health insurer. And, you know, we receive uh, regular updates from them, so they're good that way, but yet nobody knows when any of that information could be used. So, uh, you know, it's something that, you know, it, it's, it's like an illness now. You have to start to learn to live with it, and uh, it is frightening. It's yeah, very frightening. It is. Very good. Well, look forward to your presentation. Glad to have you here, and uh, thanks again. Well, thanks for having me. I look forward to it. All right.